Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be trying out the new Morphe foundation. I asked you guys on Instagram stories if you wanted me to review it or if it was old news and you guys really wanted to see it. So here I am. This foundation has had a lot of buzz, a lot of talk, a lot of drama. There's people who either love it or absolutely hate it. And that just really goes to show that things work differently for everyone. And me, I love to test things for myself to see if I really like it because there's products I like that other people absolutely hate and there's things I hate that people love. And it's just a whole big thing. So I was at Ulta and I saw the foundation. I was like, I don't know, I'm just really intrigued by it. So I grabbed a shade. I got a shade F1.10. I have no idea if this is gonna match me. Honestly, I was kind of like quick into choosing a color. Is it gonna match? I don't know, but if the color's wrong, we'll look at the formula. So on the box, it says that it's a full coverage foundation, 24 hour long wear, sweat proof, transfer resistant, water resistant, free of oils, fragrance, parabens, great for all skin types. I mean, that sounds really great. Um, it is, I believe it's matte. Am I wrong? Yes, it's a matte foundation. It's kind of weird. It doesn't say matte anywhere except like the top under the color, but it doesn't say like it's a matte foundation. I don't generally go for matte foundations lately, um, so I definitely prep my skin. I have the Catrice Dewy Glowy Setting Spray, and I also have the Wet n Wild Cucumber Priming Spray, so my skin is a little bit nice and glowy. I'm also going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I just use this underneath all of my products. I feel like it just gives like a really nice, healthy glow to my skin. So I'm just gonna throw this on really quickly. My skin type, just for reference, I'm pretty normal. I don't get oily or dry. If anything, I'm probably usually more on the drier side. I do have blemish prone skin, a little bit sensitivity and some redness, but yeah. And I have a lot of pores and texture. I have a lot of problems. I'm gonna apply this foundation with a sponge. I feel like that's gonna give me the best result just because it's more of a matte foundation. I'm gonna give this a little shake. I'm so nervous. And just in case it wasn't obvious, I'm not sponsored. I'm not being paid to talk about this. Morphe has no idea I'm making this video. I just really love complexion products. You guys know this. And I just really wanna test something. You know, the hype is real. I'm going to apply a little bit to the butt of my sponge. Whew, let's say a little prayer. Okay, interesting. It smells like foundation. <laughs> it looks like it's a little on the fair side, especially in camera. In real life, it actually looks really good with like my chest color. It's not like super pink or orangey, which is really nice. Wow, you know, just right off the bat, like right now, it looks beautiful on my skin, really, really smooth. The coverage is really good. I'm pretty sure you can build it up, but I don't wanna go too heavy with the foundation. But it looks really nice, you guys. Wow, okay. So far, so good. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. So it's not overly dry, and that's probably because like my skin was nice and hydrated underneath. It's really important if you're gonna wear a really matte foundation, even if you're oily, sometimes a little bit of hydration kind of like helps the foundation like glide onto the skin and look a little bit more natural. So right now, skin looks Pretty damn flawless. I'm very pale looking. It's not emphasizing any pores. I have like a blemish here and it's not making it look drier and more crusty than it already is. It doesn't look like it's bunching anywhere. Okay, well, interesting, interesting, interesting. I'm not gonna go into some concealer. This is the LC Complete Remedy Silk Concealer. I just got this. I've been testing this out and so far I really like it. I have the shade Light Medium which works really nicely for me. And I'm also gonna do a little teeny mini spot treatment. I am going to set my face mostly underneath my eyes, like my T-zone, and lightly dust like my cheeks, only because that's what I would normally do either way. I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I cannot wait to put bronzer on. Okay, so my face is set. Um, it does feel a little bit like tight. Like I feel a little bit of dryness in my skin, but it doesn't look dry. I am going to go in with my Catrice Dewy Spray after I do like my br brush, <laughs> my blush and my bronzer, add a little bit of moisture back to my skin. But for the most part, like right now with how it looks, I think it looks Pretty dang good, especially for a very matte foundation. I'm going to really quickly zoom through the rest of my routine and I'll be right back.
guys i am done with the rest of my makeup and this is what my skin currently looks like it's definitely matte it's definitely a matte foundation but honestly it doesn't look bad it's not fading patchy creasing anywhere on my forehead or my smile lines it doesn't look super dry or cakey around my nose area it looks really smooth of course i have some blemishes but I chose not to cover those all the way and I think it looks really good. I'm kind of shocked I don't have creasing on my smile lines, which is interesting and between my brows. It is currently 301. I'm going to be wearing this foundation for as long as I can today. I really do want to test out how it wears and looks at the end of the night. If I was to say anything, wherever I have blemishes probably looks the driest, but my blemishes itself are pretty dry. Um, I didn't wear moisturizer today, I will say that. Everywhere else, my forehead is so smooth, it's actually kind of unreal. My nose and this area where mostly I have really accentuated pores, very smooth. Um, uh, the color actually does not even look that bad anymore. Actually, I think it looks pretty damn good. I'm not uncomfortable. My skin doesn't look uncomfortable. Wow, this kind of took an unexpected turn. I was expecting it to go a little bit not so great. <laughs> I'll see you guys a little bit later. I'll see how it does. Hey guys, I am back. I had to do a little relocation, but it is 12 19 a.m. That means I've had this foundation on for well over 10 hours. I am exhausted. I think that's plenty of time to wear foundation and figure out if we like it or not. I'm gonna be completely honest. I thought this foundation was going to suck. Um, even just from first application, I thought it was gonna be a bad foundation just based off of other people's thoughts on it. And that's why I always say you guys have to try things out. And you know, there's so many different opinions out there. So who knows? But I actually, think it looks really darn good on my skin especially for 10 plus hours i'm just a little bit shocked that i have absolutely no creasing in my brow lines in my little frowning area every foundation every foundation creases on me and my forehead is so smooth right now my skin is a little bit more dewy you guys can see a little bit more glowy but i don't mind it because it's not like overly greasy all over my face. It just kind of, I have a little bit more shine in a little T-zone area, but it's not like fading off or dissipating, looking like weird and makeup-y. It just looks really smooth, but just a little bit shiny. I think overall looking in the mirror, I have this like huge mirror here, so don't mind me. I'm like evaluating my skin that looks really good, still really flawless. I still have my coverage. It hasn't turned a weird color on me. In fact, I think like with my bronzer and everything, this color actually doesn't look too bad. I think just to make it a little easy, let me do like a pros and cons situation. So pros, I have full coverage. I have flawless skin. It lasts a really long time. I have very, very minimal creasing on my face and my skin looks very flawless and smooth even after a really long time. Calm. It fades a little around the nose area, but that really depends on the person. Um, I just have a little bit of fading like here. I did wipe off my lipstick So I have a lot of fading around my lips Which is because I wipe my lipstick off and my chin is just like a little bit more makeup-y I do also lean on my hand a lot. So with those things out of the way. Oh, I got a little bit more shiny So even though this is a matte foundation if you are a little bit more oily and you plan to wear this for a long period of time You can blot or powder throughout the day. Um, I did not touch my face at all so keep that in mind. In conclusion, I like this foundation. I would reach for it again, for sure. If I was to give it like a rating, mm, I would give it like a B plus. Yeah, I would give it a B plus um, because I do think it looks really nice on the skin and I have really no problems with it throughout the day. Oh, and by the way, I asked the boyfriend too during the day, he said it looked really good, so. Alright, with all that said, I'm pretty sure I've covered everything. If I forgot to mention something or you guys have any further questions, definitely drop them in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful and let me know if you guys have tried this foundation and what your experience is because I'm very curious. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. As usual, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Messy Jessie Beauty, Instagram Makeup by Jesse. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do so before you go. And also hit that little bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. Wow, that was really smooth. Maybe I should do my outros in the AMs more often. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.